What is up guys? So we are always looking for ways to improve our editing workflow, right? And there are literally hundreds of keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro X, but which ones are the best? In today's video, I'm going to show you my top 10 keyboard shortcuts that I use most that help me speed up my workflow. These shortcuts have proven me to be very effective and time saving. If you are starting out, try to remember a few so that you don't get overwhelmed. Eventually over time, you can add more. I recommend writing it down. Try implementing those keyboard shortcuts as good as possible so that you can fluid edit your videos and use them in creative ways. So let's start off with the first keyboard shortcut, adding a default title. You can select a default title of your liking for the shortcut control T. To do that, go to titles and search for the title you want to assign it to. I have the basic title set for this shortcut. I right click on it and select make default title. In almost all of my videos, I add a basic title. This is a really quick way to add titles to your videos instead of clicking on the title section and looking for the basic title. I went with the basic title because it allows me to create titles from scratch. It doesn't have to be the basic title. You can choose something different. I recommend selecting a title that you use most often. The second shortcut is adding a default lower third. So for this shortcut, the principles are the same. Again, for the shortcut Shift Control E, we can select a lower third from the title list. For this command, I picked the adjustment layer. If you don't know what an adjustment layer is, it's basically a layer that is put on top which effects can be placed into and will affect all the clips below it. I use this almost on every project, mostly to add a final look over the entire video. So for example, I finished editing the video, did the base correction and want to add an overall look to it. So I hit shift control E to add the adjustment layer. I then extend it over the clip and add a custom LUT. After selecting the desired LUT, you will now notice that all of the clips beneath the adjustment layer have been affected. If you don't have the adjustment layer, I will leave a download link in the video description below. Our shortcut number three is delete left right part of the clip. I can just place the skimmer and press either Alt 5 to delete the left part of the clip or Alt 6 to delete the right part of the clip. Shortcut number four is in or decrease dB volume. I usually lower the volume when the subject starts talking and I have a music playing in the background. In general, you can select a portion by hitting the R key to select the range tool then select the portion of the audio clip that you want to change. Hit Control Alt L and type in the values. For this example, I want to decrease the volume by minus 30 dB. So I type in minus 30 dB and press enter. This allows me to be very precise rather than using the mouse. Shortcut number five is duplicating. I use this mostly to duplicate my titles, but you can also use it for video and audio. Just select the video object and hold Alt while dragging with the mouse upwards. Shortcut number six, zoom in, zoom out. You can use this to zoom in or out of the timeline. But while we're at it, hitting the Shift Z will zoom the content to fit the size of the timeline. Our next shortcut, number seven, is disabling a clip. Sometimes you want to turn a clip off. Just select a clip, then press V to disable the clip. This technique is useful to quickly see how a scene plays with or without B-roll. Shortcut number eight is creating a shortcut for automatic speed. I have assigned automatic speed to command S. What this will do is set the speed of the selected clip to match the speed of the project. So if I have a clip that was shot in 50 frames per second and put it in a 24 timeline with the shortcut, I can stretch it out and play it in 24 frames per second, giving me that slow motion look. To create that command, go into Final Cut Pro commands and customize. In the search bar, type in automatic speed, select it and press the shortcut you want to apply it to. Shortcut number nine, create a shortcut for audio fades. 
Same goes for the audio fades. I find this really useful. You can just select the audio clip and use the new set of shortcuts to apply it. I have set up three custom commands, which are control option X, for applying audio fades on both ends, control option Z to toggle audio fade in, and control option C to toggle audio fade out. For our number 10 shortcut is inserting gap clips. A useful shortcut for inserting a gap clip is pressing option W. I often use a gap clip at the beginning of a timeline to serve as a place to attach the opening music. A gap clip is also created when you push a clip in the primary timeline up to become a connected clip using the shortcut command option up arrow. You can also push a connected clip down to the primary storyline using command option down arrow. I use this a lot if I want to clean up my timeline. So these were my top useful keyboard shortcuts that I use the most when editing videos in Final Cut Pro X. I hope you've been able to find some of these shortcuts helpful. One other advice I have for you is to force yourself to do the shortcuts. If your mouse reaches for an often used item, look at the shortcut next to it. Go back and type in the shortcut. This way you can memorize it quicker and edit faster the next time you open another project. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get the latest video. See ya!